Hey guys, Sickomania back again for another update on the 250 gallon saltwater hot tub. Uh, it's basically just a frag farm that uh, I've set up uh, for propagating corals. Um, I did a quick update uh, or upgrade to the system right here and you guys can tell I got uh, two uh, little uh, containers that you uh, store things in for the house and uh, buzzed a couple holes in the bottom and uh, put my green bubble tip and enemy over here and my three rose bubble tip and enemies over here so uh, there's two right here the ones on half on top of each other there's the other one um, now I'll go ahead and get a shot of this guy fortunately that light I'm messing with the tank a little bit but uh, I originally put these up, these two boxes right here, try to keep them away from my other cor my other corals. They, uh, two of them started roaming around and I didn't want to take the chance of them stinging anybody. So I came up with this idea, I got a uh, carbon reactor right here that uh, basically comes off of my uh, pump after the uh, biosphere or bio sand filter which is pretty much all it is is live rock in there. But uh, what I did was, is I ended up running that half inch line after the two stage charcoal and I ran it basically into a T and then I duck build both ends and basically I'm getting flow inside here now and uh, that's, you know, I killed two birds with one stone. I was able to use my pump that I already used for the hot tub and then I just uh, added the uh, duck bill and the barb in here so I can get enough flow and uh, I'll go ahead and turn it up but I can really I can really get that thing cranking and getting those uh, and enemies moving if I need to but I just got it on a medium flow right now so I'll go ahead and turn that down uh, fragging's going pretty good I know you guys uh, saw some pictures of the indoor garden supplies tank I just uh, was there today and I shot a video which I don't know if I'm going to post before this video or after this video but I'll go ahead and put a link to that video in the bottom of this description and you guys can see what's going on down there at Indoor Garden Supplies 150 gallon frag tank um, there will be a 60 gallon or a 40 gallon long that will uh, be going in the store there and uh, that's probably going to be the next big upgrade and a coral shipment that we'll be getting in and then you guys can go down there and uh, check them out and uh, if you guys need any other parts down there they uh, can pretty much order anything from sunlight supply and uh, anything livestock wise they can get it for uh, a really good price um, let's see anything else I got going on over here I brought home my Kenya tree, the mother colony, uh, the first one I ever bought. If you guys watched my videos a couple years ago when I had my first 10 gallon, I bought a little Kenya tree. It's about this big and uh, finally brought it home. It was at Indoor Garden Supply. And pretty much any, any Kenya tree you've seen in any of my videos came from that one. So it's kind of cool to finally get that one back. I've been going through each of my corals looking for pests and I found uh, so far in the past couple days yesterday I found six flatworms and today I found uh, four flatworms and I just been sucking them out with an uh, airline tube and uh, not too happy about that that was the biggest reason why I uh, built the anemone uh, set up right here is because uh, the rocks that these anemones were on uh, originally had some flatworms on there and uh, I coral RX'd it when I got the rock put them in here and about two and a half weeks later I noticed uh, flatworms on there again and I uh, was pretty sure that they all died off but uh, I should have quarantined them so lesson learned for me but uh I haven't seen any other coral or any other flatworms anywhere else in my tank. 
And I pretty much looked, you know, probably for the past five hours for, you know, one. And the only one that I've been able to find is those four on the uh, Green Star Polyps. And they're all closed up right now because I was uh, sucking them all out. But uh, haven't seen any more. So hopefully that will be the end of them. But uh, there's no telling with that. Uh, added a light to the sump and I changed my spectrum to 5000 so I got two 5000 compact fluorescents. The skimmer's running really good. Uh, got this cool water uh, bottle sprayer. I got RO in here and uh, I guess it's good to uh, spray down your mangrove uh, leaves once a day and uh, Trent told me that. And I noticed since I've done it for the past few days, the leaves have been a lot darker green and they just look look a lot more healthier, the plant does, so I guess that's keeping the salt off there, keeping the salt creep off, and uh, it's been doing really good since I started doing that. I purchased a abandoned coral shrimp and uh, you guys can't see him, but he's way down in there. Um, I did a water change out yesterday. I still want to get a wave box on this, so I am going to be installing one of those. Not really sure where I'm going to put it, but uh, probably I'll probably put it over here. But I'm just getting sediment in areas down on the bottom, and it's just uh, it's a real pain to try to get out of there. And I really want to get a lot of flow in this tank. So I think I'm going to buzz a hole right here and uh, build a wave box out here and uh, get a, con a controller for it and get this. I can get a really nice wave in a tank like this. I don't want to get too much flow in here either, but uh, I think that'll be kind of cool. And pretty much it'll uh, keep this tank spotless for the most part. I'm also thinking about changing out these duck bills with uh, the flow deflector right there and seeing how that does. I noticed that uh, the flow deflector, it doesn't shoot as far, but with this big pump, I should be able to get quite a bit of uh, flow. Inmates doing really good. I actually cleaned that out yesterday. Right, that's about all I got on my video guys I will uh, try to keep you guys posted with anything else that I got new going on in the tank I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys got any questions hit me up and I'll uh, try to get back to you guys as soon as possible and uh, I will keep shooting videos thanks guys